Yo, we got ourselves a crazy update to our main squad, to our best team in NBA 2K20, my team. Guys, I ended up adding a Galaxy Opal. We also ended up adding so many pink diamonds. And we ended up adding some of the best cards in my team into the main squad. And in the last video that we did, we had like our best player was like a diamond. But this time, so many pink diamonds, a Galaxy Opal. So let's get right into it. And actually, before we do get started, I'm doing a quick little giveaway in this video. All you have to do is comment down below what your squad is looking like. Let me know your point guard. Let me know your sixth man. Let me know your 13th man. Just comment down below your whole squad. And also, obviously, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 200,000 subscribers. But today, though, I'm going to show you guys my new team we're gonna build it together and uh man like i said we ended up making some major major changes and i can't wait to show you so without further ado let's get right into it now it's starting you know center i was gonna go small forward but i think some of you guys should know who that is but at starting center we're gonna go with the one and only the big fella patrick ewing this guy right here man seven footer man everything about this card i love it seven foot he can play defense he doesn't have a three-pointer this year which is like a little, you know, bad because I do like stretching the floor. But other than that, like this card does everything I need him to do. And he's going to be our starting center. Now at power forward, I actually ended up getting somebody that used to be the cheesiest card last year in 19. This year he's not as cheesy, but he's still going to be joining the squad. And that, of course, is going to be the boy Jameson right here, man. They actually made him a small forward as well. So I might run him at small forward. We'll see. At power forward for now. Because I do need rebounds to like evolve him. He actually becomes a pink diamond too. But that guy's going to be our power forward. He doesn't have base 11 this year. Um, it's it's a lot slower. Which, you know, is really upsetting. And he also doesn't have like Hall of Fame range extender. Or even on gold. So he's not like the... He's not, you know, as cheese as he was last year. Pretty much is what I'm getting at. But he's still going to be our starting power forward. Now at small forward, if you saw the gameplay... You know exactly who I'm going with. And that, of course, is going to be Diamond Luca. I don't know what he did, you know, to deserve a diamond. Um, I mean, I mean, he's a great player. Don't get me wrong. Like, literally the future of the NBA. But at the same time, a diamond this early on. I mean, last year we got him, like, I think, like, around, like, February or March. But regardless, though, I'll take it. Really good release. Range extender. He has all the good shooting badges. And he's also 6'7". I might eventually slide him to the 2. We'll see what happens there. But at the two, though, this is where, uh, this might be, like, I think the lowest tier card that I have. But I have to show love to the main man. You already know. We got a pink diamond, uh, George. We got some great diamonds as well. But we have to go with one of the greatest players of all time, Kobe Bryant. He's got he, he's to be my starting shooting guard. I'm sorry. I know there might be better players. But my boy Kobe, though, man, look at this man, dude. He knows he's good. Number eight, Kobe. Like, they, they, they showed him love this year. Great release, great everything. I love this card, 6-6. Six, six. And now at point guard, we're going to bring in our first Galaxy Opal in NBA 2K20, my team. And that, of course, is going to be Isaiah Thomas. Look at that card. That has to be the best-looking card, in my opinion, so far this year. Like, other than Kobe, of course, because Kobe, you know, looking cute right there. Uh, you know, pause. But um, Isaiah, Isaiah Thomas, though, literally this card, I, I don't know. Like, he's just overpowered offensively like if this guy was 6'6 six, six, or even 6'3 this would literally be the best card in any 2k so you know he's, he obviously has some weaknesses too but that right there's gonna be the starting lineup looking really nice we got Patrick Ewing for some defense we got Jamison to spread the floor Luca he can also play you know the point guard you know like you know he can pass and stuff like that and then we got Kobe being over here and Isaiah Thomas and now for the bench Ah, the bench, man. I definitely, I've been thinking about this because I have a lot of good players, especially shooting guards. I don't know about you guys, but there are a lot of shooting guards. A lot. <laughs> like a lot. But uh, at back of point guard, we're going to go with the one and only John Stockton. We don't have Carl Malone yet, but for now, he's going to be our backup point guard. He is also pretty small, 6'1", but he's still pretty good. Like defensively, he's great. Offensively, this year, they did a great job with making these, like, small point guards be able to drive to the basket and stuff like that. So, he's definitely going to be our backup point guard. Now, at backup shooting guard, oh, man, I, I really don't know who to go with, to be honest. Because I want to go with Del Ellis because he's really good. I want to go with George Gervin because he's also good and he's taller. He's 6'7". But Del Ellis, like, there's something about this card. He's actually, oh, he's actually 6'7". I thought he was 6'6". We're going to go with Del Ellis because his release, in my opinion, is really good. George Gervin isn't bad. Like, I might have him, like, at the 13th man or something like that. We'll see. But Del Ellis, definitely, if you have not finished Historic Domination, go do it. I highly recommend it. Literally insane. One of the best cards in the game. At back of a small forward, though, this one is pretty easy. At small forward, we're going to go with Chris Mullen. He's got the shooting badges. He's 6'7". You definitely do need some height as well in this year. It's not as important as it was in previous years. 
but this year it doesn't hurt to have some height as well so he's gonna be our bag of small forward now my bag of power forward we got another ping diamond and this blade griffin by the way is overpowered look at this dude he's like technically my second best card according to 2k which is uh insane um i would run him but he you can only play him for five games but instead we're gonna go with the boy sean camp right here finished domination brought him into the squad not a bad card either um, I will eventually replace him, but he's a pink diamond, and he's a power forward, and he's also a beast down low. 6'10", not a bad size either. And then at back of center, we got to go with a Laker legend, my boy George. He's going to be our backup center. I was actually thinking of starting him over Patrick Ewing, because um, he does have, like, a, a better three-pointer. But there's something about Patrick Ewing that he just plays great defense, he grabs rebounds, and he pretty much fits the role that I need him to do, and that's pretty much set screens for Isaiah Thomas so that I can get open. So Patrick Ewing for now is going to be our starting center, and then George back up center. So that right there's a 10-man rotation. That's really what I've been running, even though, to be honest, um, I haven't really been playing much Unlimited because I literally cannot. Like, I go up five points, and people will just spam timeouts. And then, like, I get a glitch. They're like, hey, this game doesn't count. And so, like, it's just been hard. Like, the offline aspect of this game is amazing, but the online is literally unplayable. Like, it's really annoying, but hopefully they fix it soon. We'll see what happens. But there is a 10-man rotation. And now for the final three spots, I was actually thinking of going Mark Price. Because he's also one of those, like, small point guards. And again, they made him really good. They gave him range extender. They gave him all the shooting badges that you want in, like, a point guard. So he's going to be, like, our, you know, our 11th man. You know, we'll see if we end up using him over uh, John Stockton. And then we're also going to bring in George Gervin because he's 6'7". He's a shooting guard this year. Um, I think somebody told me that, like, he played shooting guard mainly in his career. It's just that two guys used to get him small forward, but this time they gave him shooting guard. So he's going to be, like, our, you know, 12th man. And then the final guy. Oh, man, this right here. Who do I give it to? So many good cards. We got Jerry Lucas. We got Bob Cousy. We got Eddie Jones. We got Artis Gilmore. Glenn Rice. Hayward is not a bad card either. Larry Johnson, not bad. But I think we're actually going to go with... Hmm. Nah, I was, gonna, I was gonna make a joke, but nah. We're gonna go with J.R. Smith. He's gonna be our final person off the bench. 13th man. You already know, man. The Henny got it. It just really sucks that this year they gave us so many good shooting guards already. Like, literally, like, there, there are so many shooting guards. Look at this. I got Eddie Jones. I got Lou Hudson. I got Stackhouse. I got Drazen. I got Michael Jordan. And even some really good amateurs like uh, Mason is really good. Same with Walter. He's not bad either. I got Tracy McGrady, overpowered card. But we're gonna go with J.R. Smith. So we definitely, uh, you know, I, you know, if 2K, if you wanna give us some more power forwards, that's really like the main position that I'm looking for. But this right here, guys, is the squad. You already know, man, never stop grinding. And the best thing is, we're gonna set that as the, uh, you know, active lineup. Uh, the best part is, if you've been keeping up with my streams and my videos, you know that I have some stuff uh, planned, which is, uh, you see, look, Blake Griff is my, my second best card. But, uh,. <laughs> take a look at that that's gonna be a lot of tokens coming soon man so stay tuned and also um i do want to show you guys what 2k considers like the best team with all my cards so let's take a quick look at it i want to see what they consider the best team so let's go with the best the best available players according to 2k and actually let me show you my franchise i'm running the bucks playbook lakers you already know laker armor lakers 2020 champs you heard it first here folks don't forget coach i use mike d'antoni sometimes i switch it up and use popovich sometimes i go with steve kurt but mostly i go with mike d'antoni but now let's see what suga considers the best available team here we go one two and three and bam i'm surprised it even loaded oh my goodness these guys look ugly without contracts but this right here is what suga considers the best team let me just fix it up a little bit my bad Oh, oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> I've just been playing a lot of, like, domination, a lot of, like, stuff that's just been using, you know, contracts. And I've just been too lazy to, like, add them back. But here we... Everything's so slow in this game. Here we go! That's what 2K considers the best team. Which, actually, it's not bad. <laughs> they got Maddie Johnson still in the... Uh, in the <laughs> he's the center, that's funny. Uh, so this right here is what 2K considers the best of the best. I don't know. Let me know which one's better, mine or 2K's. So again, that's 2Ks, and then mine is that one. Hey, I think mine's better. I mean, what does 2K know? You know what I mean? Like, what, what, what do they know? But you know what? That right there's going to be the video, guys. If you still want me to attempt a 12-0 run, let me know right now by leaving a like on the video. I'll try. It's just, again, I'm getting a lot of errors, so we'll see what happens. But that right there's going to be the video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see me, you know, again, go 12 and 0, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 200,000 subscribers. Check out these videos that I uploaded. New episode of Sniper Story. Check out what I have planned. Really good video. 
check out the full Galaxy Opal team, and then check out me getting my first Galaxy Opal. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah,